very common question I often receive is what is the difference between user and login in SQL Server? Well, in simple words, logins are for authentication and users are for authorization. Login you create at server instance level and users you create at database level. Let's see a quick example. First, we will create a login, expand security and over here create a new login. We will call it new login and select a password for it. Click on OK. Next, we will create a user. We will expand our database and under adventure works, we will create a new user. Click over here and now name the user as new user and connect it with login which we have created few seconds ago. Give a default schema and click on OK. Now we will reconnect to this database with newly created login. Click OK. And now we are connected with database with our new login. Over here we will see three databases. When we try to expand database adventure works, we will be able to expand it. However, when we attempt to expand report server, it will give us error because we did not create any user with authorization to this database. Next, we will attempt to expand tables. However, here we will see no user tables which exist in our adventure works database. This is because new user does not have authorization to access any user object. Let's go back to our user and change properties. Over here, go to own schemas and click on human resources. That means our new user now has access to human resource database. Click OK and once again come to the connection where we have logged in with new login. Select adventure work database and click on refresh. Now expand tables and you will see all the tables with human resources schema. This is because now new user of new login has access to human resources schema. I hope this simple demonstration explains difference between user and login.